What's up, Rockstars? I have a huge exclusive news for you guys. This is massive. Warhammer 40k Games Workshop is launching 10th edition on Kickstarter. Uh, they have never done this before. I've been working on this news piece for so long. I'm going to tell you all about it right now. Thank you to my channel sponsor Into the AM. As a company that believes hard work and a great product is a proper way to conduct business, I am delighted to have them as part of the channel. They have some of the coolest graphic t-shirts around and an absolute best fit and feel that has continually exceeded my expectations. With new shirts arriving all the time and other products like boxers, hats, and even a monthly shirt club, I wholeheartedly recommend them to you. Check out the link in my description of this video for an exclusive 10% off everything they sell. Okay, so this originally came to me about a year ago. In fact, almost a year ago today. It's been a long time coming. Uh, as you know, you guys reach out a lot to me when it comes to like, hey, I heard this, or hey, this is coming along. So sometimes I get a lot of industry people contacting me too. One such individual was actually an employee at Games Workshop, and they got wind of a, a big campaign coming up where Games Workshop wanted to go to Kickstarter. Now, they weren't sure when, but eventually it came to where they were going to uh, just align it with 10th edition. If you didn't know, Games Workshop is coming out with a 10th edition of Warhammer 40k here soon, where they're coming out with new units, they're revamping a lot of the data cards, they're doing a lot of that, and they wanted to make it really easy for people to come in. They wanted to make it to where a lot of people that didn't necessarily know about Warhammer 40k knows about it, and they looked at all their options and thought Kickstarter is the best place for that. As you know, launching these things is expensive, and Games Workshop obviously can't afford that, so they need your crowdfunding money to make this successful, and they're going to. Guys, this is going to be massive. I'm going to share my screen in just a moment. You guys are going to see some previews, um, at least some early stuff that I have. Again, this was back when I talked to them. I actually met them at Gen Con. It was one of the reasons I went last year. And we, we first of all, we hit it off, which was really great. But they were able to share some more information. I was really uh, able to kind of take a look at it at that time. So, I, But again, it's at that time. So it's a really early on uh, kind of what they were looking at. I'm sure there was going to be more. And after this video, there's probably going to be an announcement too. Uh, so looking forward to covering that. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, they made this massive. They are going to do everything. I actually have some notes here. I want to make sure I get everything right. Uh, for instance, one of the things they're going to do is they're going to bring every Forge World Mini into hips. That's going to be on offer on the Kickstarter. So all of those Forge World Minis that, that they've been doing, uh, some are going to be updated slightly to match the aesthetic of now because some of them are a little bit older. But it, it, it's just kind of, they're going to have to do it anyway for hips you know, redo the model a little bit, so they may as well kind of change it. So it'll be slightly different. My understanding is they're still going to offer the resin, but this will have the hips and miniatures as well, and it'll be stuff that's available for, like, everybody, which would be huge. Uh, they're also going to separate out comboed units, so it you won't ever have to buy Necron Warriors to get Scarabs again. Instead, they're going to charge both uh, to you separately, but it means you only have to buy one or the other. But if you want both, it means you're paying more than you did before, because... Of course, of course. But again, that's why they need the crowdfunding, guys. They definitely need to be on here. That's super important that they crowdfund this. Uh, as a company that's obviously struggling uh, and just really hurting financially, there's no way they could do 10th edition justice without a crowdfunding campaign. So really glad they're 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 doing this for, for us, really. Um, let's see. I, and I even have like an all-in number. So hold on. Uh, let's see. A bits pack. So they're going to be uh, uh, offering bits for each individual faction. And those bits allow you to do stuff like like make a fully heavy weapons team. So you don't have to buy an extra box of that. Instead, you buy the way overpriced bits box and you do that instead. But again, that's going to be Kickstarter only. A lot of this is Kickstarter only. There's going to be so much FOMO, guys. So in the description, down in the link below, you'll see some links. You definitely want to check those out. Um, it, 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 it definitely, this is going to be huge. Uh, so I have an all-in price that it, it's promised to be under. Supposedly, under 10,000 for one of everything. Now, one of everything includes minis, books, art prints, events, apparel, knickknacks, patty wax. They got everything. Literally, they are throwing the kitchen sink in here. Get your Warhammer, get Games Workshop, 40K, kitchen sink. It'll be on there. It's going to be massive. This is going to break every single record Kickstarter has ever even thought of making. This is going to blow everything out of the, all the water. It means it's going to get news on it. And that's what they're planning. They're, they are planning on getting like national news, world news covering the biggest Kickstarter ever. And all we needed was a, uh, a, a small company like Games Workshop to be able to, to do that for us. So that'll be massive. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few things. Now, again, 
This is a preview image. So here you go, you can kind of see it here. Uh, this was early on. I was able to snag some screenshots of this and some other things that they shared me uh, that, that they had grabbed screenshots of, uh, of some miniatures. Uh, at the end, I'm gonna have kind of a, a big reveal. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll have that at the very end. So stay tuned for that definitely. Or, or if you get tired of the video, at least move over to that so you can see the end where I'll, I'll reveal probably the biggest piece of this entire thing. It, 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 it's literally, you, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. Uh, so super excited for that. But for now, just know that really the only thing I was able to see are these kind of art, uh, like concept art and some really early renders of some stuff. Now, obviously that means there's a lot to change. I think with a lot of these renders, there is a lot of like theory crafting around it. It's very interesting to see the inside of Games Workshop and how they operate like this. I hope to cover this more often. So obviously subscribe to see how this progresses. Maybe some more of these deep dive videos I can do. Uh, but as you can see, it's gonna be massive, it, huge, 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 huge. Uh, there, there's, there's nothing bigger than Warhammer. Uh, and again, fr from a small time developer like Games Workshop, that's super awesome. I think that's great. So anyway, 10th edition coming to Kickstarter, going to be massive. Here's an Eldari kind of character. I don't know if this is a sub faction. I don't know if this is a redo of another one. Uh, they're doing the typical thing where they, they, they're stuck on flat bases. So they're, they're like trying to like add some terrain, a little bits like that to be able to like, uh, you know, have more dynamic, uh, moves definitely dynamic. This is going to be a fun thing to build. I'm super excited about this. The art prints that I've seen, the the like concept art that they've been working on, fantastic. As you know, 10th edition, uh, Tyranids are back. They're mean, ba mad, bamba jammas or whatever the heck I'm trying to say there. I'm, I'm so flustered. This is amazing. Um, It's going to be huge. There's going to be some massive some massive Tyranids coming at you. So definitely excited about that. They're going to do some more characters and a lot of faction blending too. Apparently um, the story is going to be progress to a, a place where um, like unlikely allies, kind of like how the Eldari sometimes help everybody, kind of like that, where we're going to get everybody against Tyranids. It's going to be like Tyranids versus everyone. And that'll be super cool to see. And there's going to be new heroes, new villains, new people spawning up from that, a ton of new minis. I'm really excited to see a lot of new minis like that. That'll be huge. The scope of 40K is awesome. And, and, and their art is kind of testament to that. Just massive, massive stuff, guys. Um, this is kind of representative representative of the game uh, or in this campaign. It's it's just going to be huge. Tyranids, of course, again, there's a lot of Tyranid stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show the big reveal. Just note that not only is this the biggest single thing I've ever shown on this channel, but it's probably the biggest single thing in my life. My marriage, lower than this. Birth of my first child, not as important. My, the, 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 the future of my soul. Meh. This is massive. Huge. Of course it is. The Games Workshop did it and they rule my life. So I'm happy to share with you the big bad boy, this guy right here. Now this is again going to be huge. This is, when they said early, uh, concept. I didn't realize it was going to be that incredible. Now, I don't know if the, all the details stays. I don't know if they're going to lower some things. I don't know what their plans are. I just know that this is going to be awesome. Now, there is actually one more uh, reveal I have, and that's when I made all this up. Guys, happy April Fool's Day. This is April 1st, 2023, uh, if you didn't know. Don't let anybody else fool you guys. This uh, This is Eddie's fan art. Uh, Eddie here does a fantastic job, dear Lord. I'm gonna link down to him in the description below. Uh, he definitely deserves that. He had some great kind of 40K-esque like stuff that I was super excited about. Look at that, he's even got like first person mode junk and stuff. Definitely recommend looking through his art station. Fantastic work. He should be very proud of his work. And uh, the rest were 3D prints, uh, 3D renders, of course, as well, which I cover in depth. You'll see links to the videos where I cover those down below. Um, this is probably my 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 bread and butter here. Um, obviously I edited all the videos actually, or all the uh, uh, pictures to make them kind of look more uniform in uh, coloration and stuff like that, at least as good as I could and in an evening's time. Uh, but this one, this took this took a while. This is an image, this is not real. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know what? I tried to make it real. It's got all the right uh, font, the right sizes, the right spacing, 
uh, the right thickness. It, it, it should look pretty legit. Don't trust things you see on the internet. People can lie to you, like me, apparently. Guys, I will not lie to you in the future, though. You guys know that. If you want some good actual coverage of crowdfunded board games without Garbage Games Workshop on it, feel free to subscribe and take a look at that. Um, i will definitely be covering all the cool stuff with the next Zombicide and all that stuff very, very soon. And I promise, again, it'll be mostly factual now. <laughs> But I had fun with it. I hope you did too, guys. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to like the video. I put a ton of work in this. Not It has been in development since last year because I thought of the idea last year too for this year's April 1st video. But uh, I didn't meet anybody at Games uh, Games Workshop or, or Gen Con or anything like that. That 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 was a fib. Um, but again, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, I will be covering new, important, real stuff very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. Be safe out there today. Bye, guys.